By the time you receive this, I will already be gone. No, not dead. Just somewhere different. I've finally accepted my fate. That I'm going to live the rest of my life without the sense of sight. Hey, Kaden. Did you get here okay? You don't have to shout, you know. My ears still work. Yes, I arrived fine. They gave me a cab service to call. That's good. Do you want to walk? That's what you called me here for. Besides, I have to practice with this thing now. Not that much, really. Just about the same. Still selling my paintings to pay for the class that teaches them to me. Uh-huh. Oh, I finished the painting that you recommended. The landscape? You should really... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't... Don't worry about it. No, really, I had Just it. Just forget it. And my second semester ends next week. So... Uh, how have you been recently? Me? How have I been? Oh, alright. Well, I've been just great. I finally fully lost my sight and my job. I'm in debt to the doctors that failed to fix me. And now I have to deal with the pity that's placed on me every day. I know it's tough, but... What do you know about my situation? You don't know what my life is like. I'm now just a nuisance to society, a burden that just gets in their way, a pathetic nobody that's going to need help for the rest of his life. You don't need to think of it that way. What other way is there to think of it? Nothing's ever going to be the same. The rest of my life is just going to be an abyss of misplaced contempt. I can only blame myself. And now I have nothing. I am nothing. You just need to find your place in the world. It might not make sense right away, but just give it time. Time? That's something I have plenty of now. Everyone else can attend to their schedules and busy lives while I learn how not to intrude. If I'm being intrusive right now, just tell me and I'll leave. Just tell me. I was only trying to help. Look where that's gotten us. I don't need your help. I, I have to go. I can't do this. Just like everyone else. It's the first one I can actually be proud of. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, hello? What do you think? Huh? Oh, uh, it's beautiful, Emily. It's the first one I can actually be proud of. So, uh, what do you think? Hello? What do you think? Huh? Oh, uh, it's beautiful, Emily. Hello? Yes, I need a cab to Lakeview Apartments. Lincoln Avenue. Emily, I know I've been difficult recently and there are some things I need to say. There's nothing left to say. I don't think I can talk to you anymore. Just listen, ever since this 
whole ordeal, I've been putting up a wall. Being someone I'm not. I can't let people think I'm weak. That's no excuse for the way you treated them. I know, but I've realized I can't overcompensate for what I am. You've helped me all along, and you've stuck by me no matter what, and I've got no one else to turn to. I'm sorry, Kaden. I can't. I've offered you so much, and I've got nothing to show for it. I'm sorry. Okay. Dear Emily, by the time you receive this, I will already be gone. No, not dead, just somewhere different. I have finally accepted my fate, that I'm going to live the rest of my life without the sense of sight. What you said does make sense to me now. I need to find my place in this world, and I'm prepared to do that no matter how long it takes. I'm sorry for any inconveniences I may have caused you, and I hope you understand. Sincerely, Caden. Well, it's been another great day at Sights and Sounds Elementary. Parents, please guide your children to the cafeteria down the hall. It was nice to hear that you're still painting. <laughs>